and welcome to this edition of Create a Life You Love. I'm super excited today because one of my greatest friends is here, Laurent, who owns a tattoo shop and is a tattoo artist, and I cannot even emphasize the word artist enough. I'm so excited to share his work with you and let him explain to you how he got started in this industry and what he has evolved it into. Hi, Laurent. Thank hey, you so Tony. much for being here. You're welcome. So I just want to jump right into all these beautiful tattoos. But first, let's talk a little bit about you, okay? Okay. The first question, I, you know, growing up, I know I saw people with tattoos, but back then they were more... They weren't as artistic as mm -hmm. they are now, and they were a little... Scruffy. Scruffy, perfect word, mm -hmm. awesome, yes. And it, it would have never appealed to me to think I wanna put something that scruffy on my canvas, and that's really the way you look at human bodies now yeah. is as a canvas, right? Absolutely. Oh, so good. <laughs> um, so, <clears throat> When did you know, when's the first time you saw ink, and that's what, obviously what people call a tattoo sometimes? Yeah, ink, tattoo. That, that you said. Tats, no. Yeah, t tats. Yeah, tats. That you said, that's what I want to do. That's, that's where I'm going to put my So life. the first time I saw a tattoo, I was just like a little kid. I don't know, I must have been like maybe like four or five years old. And uh, I was just like blown away by that thing, even though it was like a scruffy thing, you know, just because <laughs> <'cause laughs> it looked so, I don't know, kind of like uh, tough and like those people were just kind of like, yeah. they seemed free to me, you know. It was kind of a, uh, a tattoo back when we were really young uh -huh. was a sign of rebellion. Absolutely. It wasn't until probably, what, like 20 years ago yeah, or so where it became like... Yeah more of an artistic uh -huh. statement over rebellion. And the people who had tattoos, those scruffy tattoos, were sometimes very scruffy and like tough Absolutely. themselves. Absolutely. Now, Laurent, you're originally from France. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> so here, t back when I was very young and would see somebody with a tattoo, they typically might be involved like with some motorcycle yeah. people. Mm -hmm. Or something like it that? It was the same back home. It, it know, was, like okay. Motorcycle that's... gangs, military. Yeah. Okay, uh, yes, military. Yeah. Yes, yes, I completely forgot about that. Musician, just people that were like out of the society, kind yeah. of, you know. Rebellious. Rebellious. Very, uh, very rebellious. Yeah. So yeah, you would not see like any like uh, mom having a tattoo or like uh, right. a doctor or something like that, you know. But now. But now everybody has one. Yeah, everybody mm -hmm. wants to express their feelings and emotion through their canvas or their skin and what they really love, they Absolutely. want to put it on them. Yeah. Which is, a, it's, it's amazing to be able to do that and, and express it in a way that is also beautiful, not mm -hmm. always scruffy, but if they want the scruff, oh, they yeah. can still get the scruff. Yeah, no one, no one does, does that now. You know, it's more something, a statement about their individ individuality, yes. you know? Yes. So, yeah, you know. So, now, um, if about four is the first time you saw the tattoo. Yeah. When did you know, like, this is what I'm going to make my living in? When did you say, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put scruff on people? I was 14. 14? Mm -hmm. 14 years old. Okay, so tell me, what were the steps you took? Like, if you know at 14, were you very artistic at that point? I always drew. I always loved tattoos. I always wanted to have some, but I never thought about doing it myself. And I don't know, one day it just uh, came to me. It, I was like, well, you should do that. So, so I decided to do it. I went to see... I saw my parents. I was like, I want to quit school and do <laughs> tattoos. And they were thrilled. Uh, they were? <laughs> no, they were not. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's sarcasm. Okay, yes, they were not. No, absolutely what did they not. Say to you? They were like, no way, you know. So, um, plus I was too young. So they were like, uh, you need to uh, keep going to school, uh, graduate, whatever. 
and then you do what you want. You know? Okay, so, so then, but you kept it in your head, like you so, never wavered <clears throat> from that. So yeah, I always kept it in my head. I always, I, I kept on drawing and, you know, like um, getting my scale kind of like up, yeah. you know. And then I decided to do it. Uh, I had to teach myself just because there was no one around to show me. Like I would not recommend doing this nowadays to anyone yeah. just because there's so many places, so many people doing tattoos that uh, if if no one wants to teach you how to do a tattoo, you should take that as a, yeah. as a warning, you know, that yeah. you don't have it. But like in my case, I had no other choice. So that's and what I did. There really, in the past, there really wasn't a school. Oh, there was nothing. To mm. teach you so, how to do. Yeah. There's no school really. Like uh, usually you go through an apprenticeship. Yeah. With like okay. a professional. Yes. You know? yes, 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 yeah. yes. That makes more sense. There are schools, but uh, same thing. I would not recommend going there because they're just uh, yeah scamming you. you know? just, yeah, that, I can I can see that. So then, so at fourteen, you knew that was it. <coughs> this is what you wanted to do. Now, between the age of four and fourteen, did you see a lot more tattoos, or did it just stick to you like that? Yeah, I saw some. You know, like. Uh, I saw some handpock tattoos. I saw some like biker tattoos. That was pretty much all I saw. Okay, right? okay, yeah. perfect. Um, when did you give your first tattoo? I was 19. 19, awesome. Yeah. Awesome. And do you remember what it was? Oh, yeah. We always remember our first, right? It's on me, so I do remember oh, what it is. <laughs> <laughs> you gave yourself a tattoo? I did. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. So what does that... What was it? What was the tattoo you gave yourself? Oh, it's um, a scroll with like some characters and like a, a little mask, you know. Nice. On my leg. Sonia, nice. I love that. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Perfect. Now, so, okay. And you obviously started in France. Yes. Because that's where you're from. Mm -hmm. So you worked in France for a while giving tattoos? Yeah. For so I had the shop. I opened the shop with a friend of mine. Yeah. I was over there for maybe five years. Okay. You know? Yeah. And uh, then uh, I traveled a little bit around and I came to Milwaukee about 12 years ago. Something okay. like that. Yeah. yeah. And then when you started in Milwaukee. Yeah. What was that like? How did you start off here in this area? Uh, I went around. I looked for a job in a tattoo shop. I got a job somewhere. I did not like the place, so I quit. Then I found another one. And then at some point, I just decided I wanted to do my own. OK. Mm. And the name of your shop is? It's called Old Salt Tattooers. It's in Bayview. OK. Excellent. Mm. Awesome. Now. I've, I'm so excited to get into this, but I still want to ask some more um, questions. Um, <clears throat> I want to make sure I get through some of the more important ones. Um, because you have such beautiful art, and I want to get to that. But um, here's, here's a, a, a few questions that people have sent me. So um, you obviously, you create your own tattoos because all of these books here are all your designs, yeah. correct? Yeah. So <clears throat> about 80, 85% of what I do is custom work. So by custom, it means that the people, they come to me, they have an idea, you know, like... Uh, um, it could be anything, you know, they're this, this like, I want this with this and it to look like that. And uh, usually they bring me kind of like pictures to kind of like guide me around what style they want because I can do like different style. And I just uh, do a drawing for them and uh, most of the time, 99% they like it and then I do the tattoo. Nice. Know? So you do, you do create the tattoo, but you also do other people's tattoos. I do that too, you know. So yes. you, so I can create a tattoo for you, or if you bring, a, I don't know, if you have a favorite painting or a favorite uh, uh, CD jacket that you want to get tattooed, or like a picture of your grandmother, or anything, pretty much, you know, you can just bring it to me. 
So I'll do it. Do you prefer to do your own design or somebody else's? I like design? both. Yeah. Because you know? yeah. sometimes yeah. Uh, just well, copying a piece of art from a great artist is also something good to do, you know? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. So um, what is the favorite design that you have created? Do, if you have a favorite, like uh, one that sticks <clears throat> out for some reason. Well, it's like asking your parents if they have a favorite kid. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I don't, you know, I have things that I do prefer, you know, they're pretty much all like in the books. Uh, I really like to do Japanese tattoos, nice. or like old school Americana, like those one. Uh, do I have a favorite one in particular? I have one tattoo I really like, which is actually uh, nothing special, but the story was quite funny. It's a pe okay. peppermint patty. Okay. You know, like from a little character from- uh, Charlie uh, Brown? From Charlie Brown. Okay, you correct. Know? Yeah. And she's doing something special because uh, it's in memory of the, the guy basically did the tattoo in memory of his grandma, you know, which looked like, mm. like her. And uh, yeah, that's all I can say about the design on TV. That's so sweet. Mm. That's very sweet. Yeah. I love that. So when most people come in for a tattoo, they obviously there's some kind of meaning that they have behind it. There's, it means something to them. Like people might see something they like uh, my sister has a barb wire um, mm. on her arm, but now she she was it was kind of a trend at that point, sure. and now she's like, oh my gosh, she wants it covered up. <laughs> she's <laughs> like, okay, that was that was pretty typical for the time. Yeah. But most people now, with tattoos being what they are and how they are, when they come in they probably have like a story or a very important meaning behind the work? 50% of the people do have stories behind or meanings. After you still have like a quite a big number of clients that are just doing something because they like the way it looks. Okay. You know? Just for like, um, yeah, like, um, I don't know, like it's just like they just want to look a certain way or they just like a design, you know, with no meaning behind it. Gotcha. Mm. So people get tattoos like my sister and they might later on think, what was I thinking? <laughs> so you do actually do cover-ups and can take an old tattoo or a fate, what they call a faded tattoo mm -hmm. and either bring it back to life or yeah, do a do whole that. new design Absolutely, over it? yeah. So uh, I just did one like a few few weeks ago, like uh, a guy had like a firefighter pinup on his arm, which was like, looked really bad, you know, and I just went over it and she looked like she got plastic surgery. Oh, know? nice. <laughs> yeah. well, otherwise, like also I do cover-ups, like you said. So, yeah. you know, they have like a, an old tattoo that's bad and they want something over it. Sometimes what they want is not doable to, for, for the cover-up, so I have to kind of like guide them throughout what's possible and what's not. And uh, then I do it, if they agree with it. Excellent, mm -hmm. excellent. Now, do you do, um, and I ask this, uh, I've seen this a lot, like the face tattoos. No, I don't. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't always understand that. Yeah, me neither. Yeah, it's a, the body is better, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, uh, back to my list of questions. Um, what do most people, is there a most common type of tattoo that people want to get or want to have on their body? I wouldn't say there's a most common design, but there's definitely like periods where people come up with the same thing, you know. Uh, as far as lately, I've done a lot of uh, sacred geometry yes. design, you know, which are really cool. Can we look at some sacred geometry designs just yeah. to see, Let's is see. that this book? Yeah, it's this book. So. Awesome. So these sacred geometry 
Um, like, here is part of one, you know. Let's pop this up a bit. So this is very, very unique, and you can see all the detail in this. Is there anything in here you'd like to explain? Like, what her purpose or his... his the guy in that particular design, the Eric is his name, he, he was like, I want a, a leg sleeve with sacred geometry, do whatever you want. So I was like, I actually usually... I usually don't like that, you know, I'd rather like you give me like guidance. Uh, those ones are called uh, the flower of life. So okay. basically it's, um, how should I explain that? It's something like that has to do with also like uh, biology and like cells and stuff like that, how they like uh, develop and reproduce. So, so it's pretty much starting from like the beginning, you know, and like then they multiply each other. And then it comes to like other places, other things that are like part of like sacred geometry. And I just use like other sacred geometry for like background. You know? I love that. That is gorgeous. Yeah. So there's, a, so there's a ton of them. Like, um, let's see. Oh, that's really pretty. Like that too. So, yeah. you know. So it's pretty much a design that's like geometrical and just like repeated, you know, over and over. Very nice. That's one of the latest trend, you know. Nice. They also get a lot of like uh, traditional American tattoo. Yeah, I love that sailboat. Thank you. I love, I'm gonna pull this up just so we can get a closer look. Like if you first look at it, you don't realize all the detail, but then as you go through it, like there is so much detail and so many layers uh -huh. and it's, a real artist that can make the layers look like layers, like not just a flat. Not a flat one. Like this almost looks 3D also. Yeah. This one here with, and then just the, the amount of detail and color. This looks, it doesn't, it, it looks like it could actually be a picture. Yeah, absolutely. And that's, that's beautiful. That takes talent. Thank that's you. a skill mm. that somebody has to have to be able to do that. Okay, so there are sleeves <clears throat> yeah. for the arm, which if somebody doesn't know that, that's like covering the whole arm, right? The whole arm. I've never heard of a sleeve for a leg, though. Oh, yeah, leg sleeves. And yeah. th that's becoming more popular now? Yes, it is. It's not the biggest part of the business, but uh, yeah, there's quite a few people that do it. I'm doing, I'm starting one like next week. Okay, yeah. perfect. Now, how long does it take to do a sleeve, let's just say. Well, that's going to depend on how big and how tall you are to start okay. with, you know, because the more skin you have, the more time it takes. Uh, I can't really tell you like a specific time because it also depends on the, the design, detail. you know. Yeah. Uh, let's say that uh, a sleeve, you need to probably count something around like 15, 20, 25 hours. Okay, so then you don't do that all in one oh, day. No, no, no. no it's, way. It's, it's different. It's different. It's different session. You know. Okay. So usually they come. I do session of about like uh, two, three, four hours at a time if they want to sit that long, and they come back like a couple of weeks after or a week after. Or, you know. Beautiful. I love that. So then my next question is, uh, oopsie, can. Um, do, have you tattooed minors? I know that they, no. minors cannot come in alone, but if they came in with no, their in parents... No, in Wisconsin, you're not allowed to tattoo minors, even with the parents. Really? Uh, yeah. They can go to Illinois, but not Wisconsin. Okay, got it. So yeah. no minors no in minors Wisconsin. No minors whatsoever. Yeah. But once they turn 18... They can. Pull out the gun. But they need to bring their ID. And I said, <laughs> bring, and if you're a minor, bring your ID. <laughs> That's right. And um, so... I, and I know this is relative and it depends on your pain threshold. A lot of people are hesitant to get a tattoo because they're afraid it will hurt. <clears throat> That's true. It does hurt a little bit, you know. A little bit. But it doesn't hurt that bad, otherwise I, I would be out of business. Yeah, a, 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 it's been explained that from people who I know who have had tattoos, mm -hmm. they say it's very addictive. Yeah. It's very, it's like a... a, a a sweet pain, if you kind will. Of, yeah, you know. It's kind of like scratching a, a sunburn. Okay, you know? okay. So it, it's not 
completely comfortable, but it's something you can do. Okay. And go through. Um, let's talk a little bit. Now I'm excited because now we just get to get into your work and look at some of your tattoos. Mm -hmm. And I have kind of looked through these books a little bit prior to getting started. And I really want to talk about a couple of them. And one of them is this one right here. Because this one, I mean, this is a beautiful, beautiful piece of work. How intricate yeah. and how detailed this is. How, how much time approximately did this, and this is your design. That's my design. So he came, he said he wanted a dragon back piece with an eagle. I actually think that you can like, oh, see my the, gosh. the whole thing over yeah, here. Yeah, that's so much better. Uh, that's a much better picture, yeah. There's actually a whole background now on it. Uh, a tattoo like that, I would say something probably around like 30 hours. Wow. Yeah. That's, it's amazing that this can be done oh, yeah. and that it can be done in 30 hours. Mm -hmm. The amount of color, yeah. the amount of detail. Now, is there a story behind this one or is it? Absolutely not. It's no, just, it's, it's just, it's just, he... uh, it's, it's just uh, what you wanted to get. Yeah. Okay, yeah. excellent. Yeah. I actually think I know this guy. Yeah. <laughs> I swear to goodness, <laughs> I think I know that guy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember his name, but he was a nice dude. Oh, I think because I know somebody who had, yeah. he's getting all the Mil Milwaukee... Buildings. ...tattooed on him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and he, yeah, that's interesting. I wonder if that's the... So yeah, him, for example, he came, he was like, I want to sleep with the, uh, that represent Milwaukee. So I asked him, like, which building he liked in particular. And this one uh, is... One of my favorite, because, uh, for example, like uh, the, the the home bridge yeah. is kind of like uh, tricky to make to work on the tattoo, because basically you're tattooing like non-organic pieces on like an organic subject, Correct. you know. So like you don't want it to just be like uh, just a bunch of building like slapped on together. So you need to think about when he's gonna move his arm, like how it's gonna look and stuff like that. So I kind of had to like trick the, the, the bridge to make it work and it's, yeah, it's a beautiful tattoo. That's it amazing really that well. you would think about that because some people might not think about when you're moving, how yeah. does that look? Yeah, I do. That is amazing. That's a beautiful, that is a beautiful tattoo. Thank so you. is there something in one of these books that you want to show me? Otherwise, I'm going to keep turning pages and find the ones Go ahead. that. Turn pages. I, there was, I think it's in this one. Okay, so first of all, I love this. But there was another one, this one. Is that it? Yeah. This one. Yeah. I mean, and then this is this is the bigger. This is th this is the side. This is this, right? Mm -hmm. So basically, her like uh, she was sent to me by another tattoo artist who just didn't want it to do it because it was too much of a headache for him to deal with it. Uh, she just she liked hexagon and like uh, sacred geometry, and she's into like uh, evolution. So all of those eyes are like different, like animal species, you know. Okay. That she's into. Those are eyes. Those are eyeballs. So all of these are eyes. Yeah. So you have that like, is you, crazy. You have a chameleon, you have like uh, an octopus, uh, some birds, uh, some stuff like that. And uh, I don't know if there's a picture in there, but uh, I was joking. I told her like I should put my eye in it too, and she let me put my eye. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. So, but the, again. Like you see this whole piece of work, and then within the piece of work, there's other ones. There's yeah. pieces of work, like just one eye. This eye is ridiculous yeah. detail. Thank you. And just mm -hmm. amazingly spot on and beautiful. Like that is, that's gorgeous. And to see that, and, and then like a lot of people do um, the, the flowers. Yes, so, they do. Yes. Like, show me uh, what you want to show me. Oh my gosh, like that. I love that. That's so pretty. Yeah, there's a, like for example, here there's a cover up on this one. Or like, okay, so uh, this one here is a cover up? Yeah. Do you remember what was below it? Some tribal armband. Okay, yeah, tribal used to be really big mm -hmm. too, right? It used to yeah. be really big. 
Yeah. Um, I, I love this lion too. Yeah, the lion is That's nice. That's very, very, very There's good. A, there's so many of them, like it's like impossible for Wait, me to Wait, okay, this one, one I did, no? if you don't mind, yeah, I'm going to turn back for a moment. Okay, this one. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of the kind of, it's not scruffy, yeah. but I was like, oh, that butterfly is so pretty yeah, on that very, skull. very yeah. real skull. But it, in some, in some, um, I, I'm, the word is community, but in some ethnicities, the skull is very, very religious. Absolutely. A absolutely religious. Okay, go ahead and show me what you oh, were looking for um, here. Like, for example, like the locomotive Oh, here. I love that one, you too, know. yes. And y it's very difficult to make clouds look real. Yeah. To make these clouds look that or smoke Actually, or, not really. Not for you. Yeah. Not for you. But I've... I have not seen, and I've, I've seen a fair number of tattoos, but I've not seen anything that, like, Okay. And Thank especially you. when you take it from the arm and you put it on, on a picture, some of it is lost. Yeah. So, so, okay, as we can see, you have a tremendous amount of work that you've done. You're extremely experienced, and... This is a passion you've had since you've been four years old, mm -hmm. and you are exquisitely Thank you. talented. Um, old Salt Tattooers yep. is the name of your business, and if anybody wants to reach you, the number would be 414-721-6817, and you're in Bayview at 26. 65 South Howell Avenue, correct? That's it. And tattoos by Laurent dot com is the website is the website so mm -hmm. if anybody wants to reach you this is how they can yeah. get a hold of you and they can bring in their own design or you can bring anything you like, can bring any a picture yeah. anything they want and then you will help make it i do body and i art. do any tattoos from the smallest one to the to, to the, the biggest, biggest one. one. Perfect. Laurent, thank you so thank much you, for Tony. being a guest on my show today. It was such an honor to have you here. Thank you. Please remember, I am here doing this show, Create a Life You Love. If you've created a life you love, just reach out to me. I'd be happy to um, have you on the show and showcase your work. But today is all about Laurent and his tattooing skills and abilities. Thank you, Tony. Thank you again, Laurent. Thank you.